Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create automatic sliding doors or any kind of door, just an automatic door so when you walk in front of it, it opens automatically. And to do this, I'm going to be using the start content and probably not an actual door, just two blocks to slide open either way. So what we're first going to want to do is create our door. So again, I'm just going to be using the start content. So I'll find some space here, just put down some walls under the architecture and start content like so. And then for the doors, I'm going to be using the cubes under the basic thing. Again, you're going to want to use your own static meshes, but this is just an example. So I'm just going to scale these to how I want them to be. So scale them like that. And then scale them up as well. And also, I'm going to make it so they're half the size of the gap, like so. And then I'm just going to make sure that I have two, one on either side, because I want them to open from the middle outwards, sliding like so. And then once you've done that, what we're gonna to wanna to do is have one of them selected, go up to the top up here, go up to cinematics and add matinee legacy, make sure you select it again, and in the tracks, right click and add new empty group, call it whatever you want, but I'm gonna call it sliding door one left, as it's the left door of this first sliding door that I'm creating. And then in that, right click and add new movement track, and then set this to the length you want, I think I'm going to set mine to four seconds to move the red and the green to four seconds like that so that this is the length of the active timeline. Then I'm going to move the white bar back to the start and add a keyframe at the top left up here. And then I'm just going to move the bar to the end of the timeline and move the door to the position I want it to be when it's fully open. So I'm going to have it like that and add a new keyframe. And if you want to test this, you can just hit play at the top like that and it's going to open like so. And then we'll save that and close it and then do the same for this door, the other door on the right here. So click it, go to cinematics, add matinee legacy, make sure you select it again, right click, add new empty group. This one I'm going to call sliding door one right and then right click, add new movement track, set this to the same length so I set it to three seconds. So let me just do that like so, move this to the start, add keyframe, and then move it to the end. Move this to the open position, and add a keyframe. You hit play, and that opens like that as well. And then what we're going to do is hit save, close this, and then we're going to go into the blueprint at the top and open level blueprint. Then again, we're going to keep this minimized and just make sure that we have a reference to both of the matinee actors we just created. So mine are back here. You just select them there and drag and drop them into the blueprint, the level blueprint like so. And maximize this, and then we're just gonna move these down here. And then we're gonna create a box trigger so that when the player walks into that trigger, they can open, the door opens. So you just go in the left over here and search for the full box trigger. Drag it in like so, move it into the middle, and then scale it up to however big you want it to be. I'm just going to make it the whole length of that and then I'm going to make it that wide so that the, the door opens when the player is that far from the door like so. Just move the player back a bit like that. And then we're going to reference this box trigger as well. So have it selected, go to the back to the level blueprint and then right click and search for begin overlap. And what this does is it adds an event so that when the player walks into the box trigger it will fire off the line of code after this. So it's going to move those there and as the other actor we're going to cast to our player. So mine is the third person so cast to third person character, hook that up like that and then after this we're going to want to just get a flip flop like so and then drag the matinee actors over like this and we're going to drag off one of the matinee actors and get a play node and hook that up to A, and then from the same one, get a reverse, and hook that up to B. And the play opens the door, the reverse closes the door. And then just put the other matinee actor into both of these as well. And once you've done this, you can add sound effects and all of that that you want. So to do that, you'd simply just drag off and play sound at location, like that, hook it into both, or just one if you want different sounds for each one. And then put the sound in there, and as location, yeah, as your character, get actor location, 
and plug the return value into the location like that. And then just as a test, I'm just gonna play camera shutter just as an example. And then hit compile, close this and hit play to test it. We walk forwards into the box trigger, it plays a sound and opens both the doors like so. And then if we walk out of it and then walk back in, it will close them again. And if you want it to close when you just leave the box trigger, that's simple as well. So make sure you have the box trigger selected like so. Go back to the blueprint and search for end overlap like that. And then just simply copy and paste this down here. But we're just gonna change some things. So we don't need the flip flop on either one. We won't need the play on this one. And we won't need the reverse on this one because this is opening, this is closing and then we'll just hook these all back up, like so. Like that, simple enough. And so basically this is opening it, this is closing it. So when you walk into the box trigger, it will open the door, and when you leave the box trigger, it will close the door. So if we hit compile, close this, hit play to test it, we walked into it, the door's opened, and if we leave, the door closes. Perfect. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've got it to do everything we wanted it to do. We can walk in front of the door and it will open. And then if we walk away from the door, it will close like so. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.